The inside controls the outside. Your inner reality controls your outer form. Your inner reality will determine the quality of your outer form. Your atomic reality has its power and what manifesting on the outside is something different from your electrons. Nobody in their sound mind would think that they could do something to their body and that it would change their atomic reality. If you think that you're going to wash and something inside your reality will change, it's misunderstood. Anything you do and any action you make through your form, it is not going to change your inner reality and the reality of your light. What these scientists call atomic reality, what Allah calls nur and malakut, the world of light. And we're in a city where everyone wants to beautify themselves. And the concern for their physicality, men and women now, you can't differentiate. Every man and woman want to make themselves beautiful and rejuvenate themselves. And they spend so much money trying to alter the physicality. And when they don't see the light that they want, the image that they want, they begin to put all sorts of artificial beautifications on themselves. Because when you're a certain age, the flower is the flower. As life becomes more and more difficult, that light is escaping and what's left is a carcass. And the carcass, no matter how much you try to beautify it, run it and jog up and down and do everything with it, it stays the age it is. You're not going to make it younger and you're definitely not going to make it more beautiful. So awliya come and teach from the teachings of pious people, no it's the light inside you that determines your beauty. Not what you're trying to do to the physicality, it's the light inside that you're like a lamp. If there's no light it's just a, a, a hollow being. And the more we put difficulty upon ourselves, it actually becomes darkened, it becomes devoid of all light, it becomes like a, a black hole that sucks in everyone's light. The people of their darkness, we're not talking about complexion, we're talking about the darkness of what's in their heart and their character as if they're absorbing everything and pulling it away. And this is the city of everybody infatuated with their beauty. And they're running after thinking that it's something physical, something physical, I can change it. And they come to teach us and religious people also thinking, if I do all these physical actions the light of my soul will change and say, no because there's many crazy extremists that pray much more than you, read much more than you, wash much more than you and they didn't change. It was not the physical action that changed. God didn't give us in our, in our hands that you do these things and it's guaranteed you're going to change. It's that you do good deeds, good actions and I may grant you a light within your heart. So Prophet taught, have good character, be gracious and humble. With that good character Allah's ni'mah comes, God's gift comes. God's gift and the greatest gift is the lights of faith. He grants the light inside the reality, He powers the light inside the reality and that's why spiritual people because of their practices and all that they're doing, they have a light within their heart, a tremendous light within their heart. As a result of their heart being lit, everything around them shines out. People are attracted to their face, not because of its immense beauty. There's a light coming, there's a magnetism coming. 
From every pore of their being there's lights that are emanating out. These lights have a juzbah, have an attraction because we're all from the same source, the same paradises. The soul witnesses that light. The soul understands that that light inside of those people, that's the light we've been searching for. Oh my body, why don't you just understand that? Why don't you just sit with them and they'll reflect the light onto your being? But the body is too preoccupied with the artificial inducement of beauty and the body is never going to receive that. And the people who focus on only activities of the form and beautifying the form, they're losing the opportunity for their real beauty. Their real beauty, God-given beauty is the light of faith. That when God wants to give a gift to creation, it's basic Mention my name, remember me and I'll remember you. So then the people of that reality, they don't come to teach about the form. They don't come to teach you about all the different types of things you have to wash, how carefully you have to wash, all of these things. If you wash for 10,000 years it's not going to change the power of your soul. Shaitan's already inside people. What does it matter that they're washing the outside with this much, this much, this kind of contaminated water, this clean water? Shaitan already inside. The devil's already occupied inside. So they're teaching, look, the companions they washed with a cup of water. It wasn't about the water. You do the ritual washing, but what's more important is that the inside to be pure, the heart to be clean. The, the practices of the heart to be done. So then these associations are from the people of light. They're not the people of form. They were trained in the world of light. They reached realities in the world of light. That they're in the association of the world of light at all times. As soon as they enter into this association, begin the association, they bring everybody into the association of the world of light. Above us is a tremendous association that taking place. And that's why Allah sends them here. Don't sit with them to entertain and have chocolate with them. But there's an association by order of Sayyidina Muhammad that must be taking place right now and they're above. As soon as they make the majlis and the, the madad, all of those personalities are in their circle, in their halaqah. As soon as our association starts the zikr, the shaykhs immediately bring everybody's soul into the center of that halaqa to be dressed and to be blessed by their association. That light that they're going to dress into your heart, if you had a thousand lives you would not have achieved it in five minutes in sitting with them. Because we just said, you can pray all you want. You look at the person and say, well he prays, I pray, what's the big difference? No, no it's not about that. Allah says in Qur'an, those whom we gave a light, they've been given a light. Those who we did not give a light, they have no light. They don't have the ability to affect other people but they can harm other people by teaching wrong, incorrectly, with anger, with qatab, with all their bad characteristics and they can contaminate. But the people of light is something completely different. Their associations are merely the souls of people. As soon as they begin their association the souls are present, they're dressing those souls, blessing those souls, whatever. They're called Ibadul Rahman. They're from either Rijalullah who are in training or Ubaidullah who are awliyaullah who have been granted a knowledge. One who has no knowledge is a rijal, he's in training. They have to be trained in what? In good character, good manners. If their actions are weak but their character is, is beautiful, Allah would dress them with immense blessings. <coughs> and Prophet said, you may come across people maybe their amma, their actions don't seem to be so strong. They're not so excessive in everything they do. But their adab and their character is of a character that Allah is pleased with. God Almighty is pleased with their character. If that's 
true and God is happy, that's all that somebody needs. If God's happy with that soul, He bestows. Itaqullah wa alimukumullah. Have a consciousness and your teacher will be Allah directed through inspiration into your heart and into your soul. So they came from the world of light and they enter into the associations and teach that what Allah gave them of a permission is to enter into the souls of people. As soon as they do their zikr, as soon as they do their teachings, as soon as they do their practices, their practice is at the level of your soul, not at the level of your head. The professor he talks to you at the head and he makes you fall asleep in five seconds. But those whom are ibadul rahman, as soon as they do their zikr, their soul is hitting your soul. Many of you will begin to heat up and it's not because it's hot in here but because they're microwaves. Immediately they begin, their soul puts out a transmission and everybody begins to heat up. Make yourself sensitive to that transmission. Make yourself sensitive to energy in which Ya Rabbi, this dead body is going into the earth. I'm not here for the body entertainment, I'm here to open my heart and I'm nothing. It's like my qabr for being Ya Rabbi, let me just to feel the energies and these powers. Amen. Their words are true, we just recited that, oh you servant of Allah, you're from the ni'mat of ishq and you're from the angels of love. With your hand you have changed my destiny. Somebody comes and says, oh but I thought only Allah changes destiny. Allah works through the servant. Allah doesn't appear to you directly but Allah works through His servants. And there are servants of that reality that when they talk and they teach, they're teaching your soul direct transmission. Your, your soul, Samina wa ta'ala, I heard what he said. I understood what he said and it's real and the naqsh has been written home to the soul. It's like burning on a CD. As soon as they speak their naqsh, they're putting their naqsh and they're engraving these realities upon the soul and the soul hears it, understands it and as soon as you go to bed tonight it will go to Allah and ask, I want that reality. I want to be dressed by that reality so it means that by their their kalam and their word, they change their entire destiny. If your destiny was to come here and go to Magic Mountain and have a few parties tomorrow, as soon as Allah guided you through that door, what you heard tonight, what you chanted tonight was completely written a different reality upon your soul. And now you heard what you never imagined to hear and your soul will grab it and fly into that ocean, into that reality. Once it's dressed from that reality, it will raise you on the day of judgment with that reality and save you on the day of judgment. When they come to ask that, what have you accomplished in this world? Say, nothing, I just jumped around and wasted all my time. Your soul will say, no, 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 no. We mentioned Allah's name. With that group, the real group, we mentioned Allah's name. We heard these realities, the soul would testify. And there are hadiths when they appear before Allah and they say, put all the sins of that servant on a scale. And they put the sins in the scale of Islam. And then Allah asked the angels, put my zikr on that scale. Put my isma Allah on that scale. And it had, it had no even equivalent or weight. There's no weight for Allah's name. There's no weight for the mentioning of God's name and praising the Divinely Presence. You can compare it with all the sins of this universe if they were all put together and just the one mentioning of God's name, what is its comparison? So we don't know why He destined us to come only one time and leave, two times and leave, one week and then leave or a lifetime to be from that reality, to be dressed and dressed and dressed. Then imagine what's the immensity of those souls that they've been destined to be dressed in the circles of zikr and to be raised at the hands of awliyaullah and the knowledges of awliyaullah. That every time you hear this reality, your angels are writing in your kitab this Muhammadan haqqaiq. Immediately changes your entire destiny. What was written in your book till today? 
all your do's and don'ts and good and bads. But tonight if they talk this reality, that reality written in your kitab, what's the weight of that reality in your kitab? Tonight we recited Allah's name through all of these different salawats, how many a thousand times? Because you multiply every zikr by the people who are here. As soon as we said Allah, hundred people said Allah, that's one hundred. We said that ten times, that's one thousand Allahs that are written now into the soul of everybody who's attended tonight. Forget about now all the other beatific zikrs and praises. Then they come to teach inside controls outside. Allah gave them a permission and that's why He says, you're an honoured creation, you're not a monkey, you're not a baboon, you're not a giraffe, but you're insan and, وَلَكَ karana bani adam. My gift to you is that you can enter your atomic reality and you can begin to change your reality. And how do you change the reality? Enter into the heart. Allah gives the ulul bab access to your heart. So there are classified awliya who are ulul bab. And what Prophet said, I'm the city of all these realities wa Ali Babahu. With his Zulfiqar he stands at the gate and then he determines whom are going to be those ulul bab. And if you come to those ulul bab and attend the association of ulul bab, means they're opening this gate. As soon as the gate opens all the souls are now entering into that reality to be dressed by that reality. These zikrs, these knowledges are going now and changing your entire atomic reality, changing the light in which you operate. And the just of this whole talk was what? You can't make yourself beautiful from the form, you can't fix your form but you can with zikr. Every sickness can be resolved with the zikr. They can give you medicines, they can give you every type of difficulty. And if, if you think you're dying they burn you with their cancers and all their treatment. The treatment kills you faster than the sickness where if you make the zikr of Allah the command may come back that the soul to come alive, the, the cells to come alive, the body to come alive. And with the zikr of Allah you'll be satisfied with Allah's qismat and writing for you that you don't have to burn yourself because you're eager to go back to Allah Either way you're victorious. But what they want us to understand is, no, no, don't focus on your outside thinking something's going to change, focus on the inside. That there's a zikr, there's a salawat for everything. As soon as we make Allah, what happens now inside the heart? What happens to every angel that's running every single cell? They say the, the salawat for beauty, Allahumma salli ya Sayyid Muhammad ala Sayyid Muhammad. Allahumma salli ya Sayyid Muhammad ala Sayyid Muhammad. I put it up, I'm not remembering now. Read JB for me. Allahumma salli ala Sayyid Muhammad, Ya Yuhu al-Mashtaqun bi nuri jamalihi wa al-Mustajun shafa'atun sallu alihi wa sallimu taslima. There's a Zahri Sayyid Muhammad ala Sayyid Muhammad Najmul Jamalihi wa I can't even remember it now when we're saying it. That salawat of the Naj is the beautiful and beautific praisings upon Sayyidina Muhammad that turn your light to be a star. Naj. You be beautific under the intercession of the light of Prophet that the Divinely face and the reality of that Divinely face begin to dress that person's face and the true beauty of what God wanted begins to shine through. And the real beauty that God wanted for us is a light within your heart, a goodness within the character and you shine for the beautific lights that angels will be astonished at the light that you show. Because your station is above the station of angels. Angels are, are, are stagnant in their growth, they do exactly what Allah wanted them to do. But insan has a choice when he leaves badness and goes towards goodness, his infinite capacity of what Allah wants to dress upon the servant. Reminder always from myself that the power is inside. 
the beauty is inside, the zikr is inside. If that zikr is done, that power is done, that light is done, everything will be beautific, everything will be healthy, everything will be the way Allah wanted to be and that we have a life of happiness and contentment. If we don't power the inside there is nothing that we can do to be happy. Every type of depression and anxiety will come to us because you focused on the wrong one. You focused on the body but the soul is telling you, hey we have an atomic reality and you haven't given me any power. You haven't given me the fuel that's necessary for my reality. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri suri al Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.